Listening Library presents Who Was Thomas Jefferson? by Dennis Brindell Froden. Read for you by Kevin Pariseau. Who Was Thomas Jefferson? Thomas Jefferson is pictured on U.S. Nichols. He is also portrayed on the giant Mount Rushmore sculpture in South Dakota. The Jefferson Memorial is a popular landmark in Washington, D.C. Jefferson City, Missouri, and Mount Jefferson in Oregon are among the many places named for him. Why is Thomas Jefferson honored in all these ways? He wrote the Declaration of Independence. This paper announced the birth of the United States in 1776. Its stirring words such as all men are created equal, have inspired people for more than 225 years. Jefferson was a giant in many fields. A great statesman, he was our third president. A gifted architect, he designed Virginia's State House and the University of Virginia campus. People called him Mr. Mammoth because he collected prehistoric bones. His book collection became the core of the Library of Congress. Despite his many public triumphs, Jefferson's private life was often sad. His wife, Martha, died at the age of only 33. Only two of Thomas and Martha's six children lived to adulthood. Jefferson also felt guilty that he didn't live by his own words. The man who wrote, All Men Are Created Equal, owned hundreds of slaves. And toward the end of his life, the former president landed deeply in debt. This is the true story of a man with many sides, Thomas Jefferson. Chapter 1. Tall Tom Thomas Jefferson was born in 1743 on his family's plantation, Shadwell, in central Virginia. Virginia was one of thirteen colonies belonging to Great Britain. By the calendar used then, his birth date was April 2nd. By today's calendar, his birth date was April 13th. Tom came third in a family of ten children. Two of the children didn't survive infancy, so Tom grew up with two older sisters, four younger sisters, and a younger brother. The babies of the family Anna and Randolph were twins. Little is known about Tom's mother, Jane Randolph Jefferson. Far more is known about his father. Peter Jefferson was a prosperous farmer who owned dozens of slaves. He was also a surveyor, a person who measures land boundaries. In addition, he served in Virginia's legislature. Young Tom thought his father was the smartest and the strongest man on earth. It was said that Peter Jefferson once raised two barrels of tobacco that had been lying on their sides to an upright position. Each barrel was said to weigh nearly 1,000 pounds. He also loved books and read Shakespeare and other authors in his spare time. Tom had cousins named Randolph who lived in eastern Virginia. Mr. and Mrs. Randolph died within a few years of each other. After that, Tom's parents helped raise the three Randolph children. Tom's first memory was of moving to his cousin's home about fifty miles away when he was two. For much of his childhood, Tom went back and forth between the two places. Sometimes he was home at Shadwell, other times he and his family were at Tuckahoe, the Randolph estate. In a way, Tom had the best of two worlds. At Shadwell, which stood at the edge of the wilderness, his father taught him to ride, swim, fish, and hunt. In eastern Virginia, Tom went to dances and learned to dress and behave like an English gentleman. But he apparently didn't get along with his Randolph cousins, the boy cousin, also named Tom, was two years older. 
Sample complete. Ready to continue?